in Sedona. I wanted to make this video for you guys because I feel inspired to do so. I'm not really sure exactly how this is going to look because I'm in a graphic. But, um, here. This is Poseidon talking to you now. So, um, how you guys doing out there across planet Earth? Just wanted to send my love and gratitude to each and every one of you. And um, blessings, awesomeness, and abundance coming your way. I've uh, heard some very positive things. I've been feeling some very positive things for some time. And uh, I wanted to share some of those positive things with you. I also would like to talk about some application. Um, some things I'd like to share to actually aid and benefit you on your development in your, these transitionary times as you process, integrate, transmute, and ascend in frequency. A rock team light, Allah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else is going on? All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm very excited about uh, the new website that's going to be built. Uh, to help you guys uh, fully facilitate not only with unitethecollective.com but a very um, specific and goal orientated uh, site for you guys to help uh, accelerate. I'm all about acceleration. There's nothing more that I would rather do than to help my brothers and sisters across planet Earth understand some of the things that they are processing, understand where it comes from, and understand uh, how to process and understand uh, what they're dealing with. So in this holographic matrix, we live in a holographic universe made up of sound, frequency, and vibration. Sound, vibration, kind of the same thing. But to understand that those frequencies and the resonance and average of those frequencies as they flow through you and as you emanate them, create your resonance. Your thoughts, your manifestation abilities are direct reflections upon what you are processing, what are you capable of processing, and what types of things you are thinking about. For me personally, I spent the entire day imagining and focusing on a um, spectacular creation with our higher selves to facilitate grander scheduling of our creations in 3D. How we can facilitate our family who sits here in 3D and listens to me now as we also work upstairs. I've met many of you guys upstairs and in dream time and uh, there's the teamwork which has been accelerated in our own quadrants, responsibilities attained, and with those responsibilities uh, acquired more um, manifestation abilities. That goes from 3D all the way up. To understand that how we work hand in hand with our higher selves, your oversoul, the reason why you incarnated on this planet, the reason why you are here to break that karmic chain that wheel that drops you right back into the barrel after you pass from one life to the next. I feel it's time for our galactic family to help us, and as we help them, understand fully what we're creating here, which in my terms is the perfect smoothie. Ryan, what is this perfect smoothie? If you guys are from other countries and you don't know what a smoothie is, it's a bunch of fruits, berries, and vegetables in a blender. Blend it together, add some protein mix, and there you go, a smoothie. Well, here's my example of a smoothie, my understanding of it, in the universe. <clears throat> On Earth right now, there are many different flavors of experience. There are many different aspects of your oversoul. There are many different aspects to this fractal, fractals, which make up you. From this divine cemetery, symmetry, all the way down to our 3D popsicle suits and the way we process our reality. To understand that each of your aspects is like an ingredient in this perfect smoothie. Your Syrian self, your Palladian self, your Anunnaki self, your Andromedan self. Okay. Maybe you're from Antares. Maybe you're from Sirius A or Sirius B. Uh, maybe you have a little Drake in you. Maybe you have a little Anunnaki in you. Maybe you have um, Pricean in you. 
maybe you have a little Zeta Reticuli, maybe you have a little Mantid in you. This is what I'd like you guys to understand in the full combination of what truly understanding of being a galactic player is here on Earth. At present, it is January 23rd, 2014. To understand that each of your aspects, your 5th, your 6th, your 7th, your 8th, your ninth, your 10th, your 11th, your 12th dimensional selves, may come from different star systems. May, they most likely do. To understand that your higher selves exist in a higher form, a higher frequency, a higher plane of existence with us in the on the ground, in the ground, in the on the physical. As you go up the pipeline, as you go up the stream of consciousness to the higher frequency bands with, with which stream across this planet, to understand that these con this consciousness, this collective is made up of many. Okay. So in making this perfect smoothie, what do you need? Well, you might need a little Syrian bananas. You might need a little Palladium blueberries. You might need a little Anunnaki spirulina protein powder. You might need a little uh, Andromedan almond milk. You know, you might need a little uh, Anunnaki boysenberries. Maybe need a little Draco spinach. What I'm trying to get to is, ladies and gentlemen, across planet Earth, the blending and harmonizing of all of these aspects into one to truly be whole again to truly be a galactic representative here on planet earth and to have that wisdom knowledge and forbearing to truly grasp what this experience is for you in this timeline blend all of that experience of all of these aspects of yourself blend them into that perfect smoothie and guess what ladies and gentlemen you are that smoothie you are the best of the best okay to understand the reason why these tests and trials and initiations are here for you to grasp and live through is so that you can truly understand what it is to be a manifester on planet earth so that you can truly understand the responsibility you hold so that you can truly grasp the meaning and purpose of being here and the interaction with your brothers and sisters who are also in their own little smoothie suits right blended together and what is this blending that is the harmony, my family, harmonizing all of these frequencies into one. I left out my Lyran. Okay, Lyran would be the whipped cream with sprinkles and, a, and cherry on top. Okay, there you go. All right. So what I'm trying to get to here is that in understanding all of these aspects make up you. All of these aspects of your oversoul make up you. Every single reason why you think, act, and uh, be a certain way when you truly listen to your center your oversoul your intuition aka will let you know what to do I know many of you have had that in your life have had that gut feeling like oh man I should have done that or oh man I shouldn't have done that you know I should have listened to my gut feeling I should have listened to what my intuition Right now on planet Earth, what is being asked of you is to turn off the static which surrounds you 24-7, 365. To listen to yourself, regardless of what planet we are on, regardless of what construct we are on, we will be successful for we will come from our hearts, right? And once a light being is fully functional and turns on, ladies and gentlemen, across planet Earth, to understand that inside of you is that light. Inside of you is that eternal flame that could never be put out. Never be put out. This planet is not strong enough to break you. You must understand this. We have been training. We have been to many other planets, okay? 
We have been to many places, experiences, us together as a collective, as a whole. Imagine every single being on this planet. We have lived lives with one another. We have experienced and been brothers and sisters on this planet to understand and to not forget where you come from, to not forget your heritage, to not forget your bloodline, to not forget the galactic heritage which courses through this vessel. Speaking to you now. As we rewrite these pages in our history to understand that compassion, forgiveness, and appreciation must be at the core root of the transmutation of this planet. We are here to seek answers. We are here to seek the solutions to these logarithms which many beings are going through collectively. To understand as a collective unit, we are unstoppable. To understand as the brothers and sisters that I incarnated with, we are unstoppable. We do not know fear nor defeat. To remember these things in my words, to express to you who you really are, I am simply here as a messenger to remind you. There's been many places that we have learned our lessons, both on light and night sides. But to understand what is the greatest task, what is the greatest strength we have that we are all working on as a whole? Can we take all of this experience, experiences that we've had collectively, blend them together, learn from our experiences of what worked and what didn't work, and understand why. Understand why something works and why something doesn't work. And choose the things which work for everyone. That's the key. Not for just the few, but for every living soul. We are the stewards of this planet. We were layered on top of the spiritual plane on this planet. We are responsible of, as stewards for the animal kingdom which we are here coexisting with. Okay? It is very important to understand that we have the responsibility of taking care of this planet. It is our responsibility, us, us children of Earth. It is no one else's responsibility, but ours. It has always been our responsibility. If you incarnate into the physical on Earth, guess what? It becomes your responsibility to take care of your house. Take care of your front yard. Take care of your backyard. And if your neighbors need help, help them out. That is what we've always been about. That is who we truly are. And I wish to share that with you in the most loving and awesome way that I can. To know that we are accelerating as a unit is very important. To understand that we are passing these tests as a collective is very important. To understand that this collective wants change, needs change, breathes change. And this change comes from inside of you not from some outside source. This inner fire which burns inside of your chest comes from in deep inside of you. This ability to go anywhere in the universe and be utilized as the awesome beings that we all truly are. Okay? So, <laughs> I wanted to share that with you because I love you all very, very much. And I know that sometimes it can be difficult here. And I know sometimes it can be difficult working with those who are still in the dark. But to understand that when we incarnated here, us star seeds, us, us Gaia's kids too, the flower children, us rainbow warriors, okay, light beings, creator incarnates, we are here to assist in adjusting this system right this planetary ship which we are on upgraded software and aid in the adjustment so that it can can hold a higher frequency as a collective and to respect and love Gaia for she is our awesome our first and foremost our teacher here. nature is your first and foremost teacher on this planet and if you guys look around you right now look what happens when you don't listen to her Look what happens when beings listen to ego and some of the lower frequencies. Look what happens to her. 
okay? She loves us very, very much. And she wants us all to be successful and develop into the awesome, amazing beings that we truly are. And to resonate that through the entire universe. That yes, we can, right? On earth, be the beings that we truly were meant to be and remember who those beings were. And every single day when you wake up in the morning, you remember a little bit more of who you truly are. And as you work through your different levels, as you go through 4D and you work through mind space, work out of 3D, okay, start with there. <laughs> uh, you stop looping what you did during the day, during your work day, you stop looping, getting in arguments with coworkers, you start stop looping uh, why you're not in a position in say a business that you would want to be in. These are 3D examples or how people have mistreated you. When you stop those loops, that repetition of the same frequency which has trapped us here for so many eons of years. To understand that when the true chess pieces begin to move on this board, to know that the beings which move those pieces truly are the galactic, ultra terrestrial, awesome creator source, you know, beings which all resonate from the one creator, God, whatever vernacular vocabulary term you want to resonate with. To understand that the love is which binds all things together. Love holds us together. Sometimes we put ourselves through these trials and tests so that we can see how far in the dark we could truly go and come back. Well, I'm here to tell you that when you jump into a pool of darkness, as you incarnate here, I want you to remember something. As you're sinking in that pool and darkness and it's getting darker and darker and darker. No one said that when you hit the bottom of that pool, you couldn't push off the bottom and launch the F right out of it. So when you hit the bottom of that pool, when you hit the bottom, when you hit, when you fall off that horse, when you feel like you've hit rock bottom, you understand that you push off the bottom as hard as you possibly can and you rock it to the top. You rock it right through your ascension and you push through all of this density and you explode into light for that's truly who you are, experiencing the physical. There is no limit on that acceleration. The only thing that, is, that darkness is fear, ladies and gentlemen. It's fear and frustration and all the things that, and all the people that said, this is the way it is because this is the way I was taught. Well, I'm here to tell you that the teachers that taught those lessons reincarnated. And it's time for those teachers to wake up. And it's time for those teachers to take their power back. And it's time for those teachers to guide the youth and the generations to come to what truly being in love, bliss and harmony really is not this fabricated story, which we've all been fed. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you guys to know, my friends, my family, um, we pull this train together, okay? And we're doing an awesome job. And I just want you guys all to know how much I appreciate you, respect you, and will continue to love you unconditionally to know that to love unconditionally is to love all things, all beings, always, and to always see the positive side of something, even though the beings themselves can't see it in themselves. That is something that many of us light beings have to understand. But you must also understand with your own discernment in these times of how much energy and effort you wish to put into something to understand what is necessary in adjusting, adjusting and aiding. And sometimes to truly aid understanding, feeling, having your energy field penetrate through all beings standing around you to have love emanate you as it blows through a coffee shop. To have love exude from you in a sphere of light as you're driving your vehicle down the road. 
and every single being turns their head unconsciously and looks what is that driving down the street to understand that this frequency this veil does not exist to understand that it's simply a test to understand that it's simply a perception so that you could experience the physical for once you bridge that gap you will see what I'm, I speak of. <laughs> so with that, you guys, just want you to know I love you guys all very much. We're going to have a Team Light Live, I believe, this Sunday. Sounds good. I think this Sunday sounds good for uh, Team Light Live. and uh, Or maybe next Sunday. We'll see. I got a, I got a couple colleagues got to get on the wire. Right. I'll let you guys know. But um, a little, uh, here's some tips for you guys really quickly. Uh, to properly shield your bed. All right, here we go. Whoa, I had my eyes closed. Hey, look what I made. Na 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 na. Whoa. Hey, check it out. Uh, Crystal Castle. It exudes a lot of light, and um, these are awesome. And uh, I wanted to show you these because I told you I would before I forget. Let me see if these. Oh, oh, oh no! Yes. So what else? Singing from my little crystal castle. Dun, 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 dun. These are awesome, by the way. There's 16 crystals in here, pointing up, and a two uh, solenoid copper wires, which spin a vortex of energy, which is magnetized and transmuted with shungite, kyanite, and black tourmaline to negate all negative frequency, filled with selenite, white light, amethyst for. Higher self communication, sodalite, chart chrysophase, sodalite and blue calcite for your third eye, chrysophase, green calcite, and uh, some rare, oh, emerald, uh, and some other things for your heart. These uh, are amazing. They're called the um, crystal castles. Okay, back to what I was saying. Oh, it's too much. Turn it down. Okay, sweet. Uh, some things to uh, test and you guys can practice with okay so if you guys want to see your higher self uh, morph into your uh, down into 3d this is a good technique you need a blue light kind of like the one I have I don't know if it'll move come on come on I'm trying to show them the lights um, get a blue light turn all the lights off in your room turn on the blue light if you have one of those mirrors Either a mirror or like those, um, you know, those closet doors that are mirrors. Check this out. Put on the blue light. Get within six inches boop, of the mirror. Stand there. Keep both your eyes closed. Open one eye at the peripheral. Stare at yourself in the mirror so you can see yourself. And then ask your higher selves to come down. And pay attention as your eyes shift. You can slowly open up both your eyes up a little bit. And you can actually watch your face morph. And try to do as many of your higher self's faces as possible. I think uh, at least four, five, and six is good for us. Shoot for four, five, and six. Um, by the way, your higher selves are male and female. Just FYI. If you're like, I see a girl. Maybe your fifth dimensional, sixth dimensional self's a girl. Just If you're a guy, don't be surprised. Uh, the higher up the bandwidth you go, the more androgynous anyway. They're like, well, what flavor would you like? Okay, what else? Um, with the beds... Um, all you guys got to do if you want to do aluminum shield your bed very cheaply The reason why I recommend aluminum shielding your bed underneath you is because you control the ground and the frequency bends and breaks around you Especially if you live in apartment buildings and you have tenants underneath you that are a little cray cray You have to understand those streams are going right through your bedrooms all the way up those uh, Apartment buildings. So what this is what you do go to Home Depot or a hardware store if you guys are in foreign countries or amazing countries, I should say, not foreign. Um, which you, there's plywood that you can buy. The easiest way to do it is go to Home Depot or the hardware store. Have them cut you uh, a slab three feet by six feet long. It's normally uh, for one side of the bed. You can do both sides, get two, three by six. Get the uh, plywood that is, has aluminum shielding on the front face. You put the aluminum side facing you up underneath the bed. So here's your bed, wood goes underneath the bed aluminum side up you then get aluminum foil roll it out shiny side up do a coating on that this is underneath here's your bed 
is underneath your bed. You then get a long, there's long mirrors, okay? They're like six feet, you know, some are like four or five feet long, or this wide and long. I like those, or you can get the glass panels. Anyways, you put the mirror on top of the aluminum, and then put your crystals on top of that, pointing up. And now if you guys have sacred stones or stones you guys like, crystals you guys like, line them up underneath your bed, and each of your chakras get a stone or a crystal, preferably, because they actually emit a field, a stronger field, underneath you. Or, um, you know, you guys can get some of the stuff uh, that we make. I can make you something to put under your bed. Okay. And uh, like I said, that is all to help balance, adjust you, and um, so you can feel the frequency of um, when you guys are sleeping. Because everyone has to sleep usually around six, eight, you know, I'd say eight hours a day. That's the norm. So to understand that the majority of the time you can do that balancing healing is actually when you're in your bedroom in dream time. So take the time to create that temple space in your room. Take that time to create the sacred space in your house and in your room. And um, any questions about creating sacred space, you can send them to uh, either support at unitethecollective.com or you can send it to me at ryan at anomalyentertainment.com. And I can help you out with those, answer some of your questions. Uh, just know that I love you guys very, very much. You guys can ask me about some stuff. I can hook you up. Selenite's awesome. I think everyone should have their own piece of selenite. Make some fairy daggers out there. These beings are so mean. Fairy dagger. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not. Um, what else? So, uh, to know that I love you guys very much. And, um, hi, this is Ryan. Sweet. Um... As you begin to understand and bring down that information and that understanding, to understand that you guys are gonna, everyone's gonna go through these initiations and trials. The beginning of them are mainly fear tests, baby fear tests, then a little more serious fear tests. Where does these tests happen in your dream time? Through simulations, they run simulation programs with you over and over and over again. Uh, many of you guys who are emailing me that we're on ship and we're doing awesome stuff. Yes, we are. And uh, I love visiting you guys, you guys are amazing. And uh, I love helping my family out. So uh, we're getting stronger. Oh my goodness, 27 minutes, you guys. All right, well, I just know that I made this video for you guys. I felt uh, compelled to. It's uh, midnight here in Sedona. And uh, I just want you guys to know that we're all, we are here for you. Team Light is here for you. And uh, any of your questions, please let us know. And to try and have compassion for those running at a slower speed, to so please do that. And sometimes le to say less is more. And um, to hold that heart space of unconditional love for them, that's the most important thing to understand. All right. So I love you guys all very much. I'm going to morph out now. All right, you guys. Peace.